The church has always been a part of my life and helped form who I am. But today, it's a different reason why I get up and go on Sunday mornings. It's a greater calling. Especially in this time of COVID, we're learning that church can look different, can feel different, and really it needs to. So how can we continue to do that? I think we have great opportunities to be able to keep being innovative and spontaneous and being able to pivot um, and follow God's call. Um, two things have happened during um, the past, well, really two years, but actually it's really jumped off in the past six months, which feels like two years, let's be real. Um, but we, I've started an online Bible study at night and we have like 450 women who gather together every Wednesday night. Now, I wanna be honest, not all 450 women gather at Wednesday night at eight o'clock but there's a connection there. There's um, threads for prayers. There's reaching out to each other. And people can go back and watch the Bible study at a later time. I never, ever, ever would have 450 people connected on a Wednesday night at eight o'clock if I were to do it in a building. Um, one of my cool stories from that, like I have a high school friend, really doesn't go to church anymore. She lives in New Mexico and she's become a huge part of this Bible study and reaches out almost every night. Um, my sister-in-law who doesn't go to church is a part of this Bible study. And then some of our, you know, faithful people every week at church that you would have seen normally are part of this Bible study. And I think that diversity and faith and life is, makes it fuller.